Good morning, babies. Hi, how you doing? I hope you're well. I hope you're feeling froggy. And if it's afternoon and good evening, you know, that type of thing, wherever you are. This is a general message, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, before anyone asks, I'm wearing my FR shirt because I'm on my way to work, you know. But cheers to that. Good morning. All right, so the song I got on Shuffle is uh, Hippies and Cowboys by Cody Jinx. Um, well, I started on the whiskey pretty early this morning. That's all right, I was up all night, but I passed out before the sun came up. I really wanted to see one of those. I know that's no way for a man to behave with a mortgage due and a baby on the way. And somehow I made it to where I'm at. I've been living, it's it been a living as a matter of fact. But somehow I made it to where I'm at. It's been a living as a matter of fact. I get a bad attitude from being tired and running around. I never ask for anyone to say they like my sound. I've never been a part of any musical scene and I ain't just talking Nashville if you know what I mean. They don't write about me in their magazines and I don't ask for their no reviews on the songs that I sing. I never had a lot of friends and I'm all right with that, but people keep on coming back. Raising hell with the hippies and the cowboys. They don't care about no trends. They don't care about songs that sell. And tomorrow I'll be gone. So tonight everybody just sing along. Raising hell with the hippies and the cowboys. Okay, so what I'm getting from that. Um, that fucking gnat, you little bitch. Ha. <laughs> Sorry. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> what I'm getting from that is um don't change who you are okay like say like you're working on something uh you have a goal in mind you have a a you want to start a business and you're like starting to think like you know because it hasn't got off the ground yet you're like I, who's gonna like this because I'm me like I'm I've been like this like I need to change some part of myself or something but what I'm getting here is don't change yourself just because you want to make the money um it needs to be more of like a passion and the success will come with it because like it says it's been a living as a matter of fact so you're going to be able to make money doing what you're doing or like say that you know, you're going for a promotion or something and you're concerned that you need to start like acting a different way to get it. Don't do that because what, I mean, unless you're being like lazy or something, then maybe like you need to get, get your ass in gear, <laughs> but don't change like who you are. Like don't try to like mold yourself into something you're not because you're going to be the perfect fit as yourself. Like it says, people keep on coming back, raising hell with the hippies and the cowboys. They don't care about no trends. They don't care about the songs that sell. It, it's still, you're making a living. You're still getting what you need. And you're not like selling your soul doing it. You're not giving up who you are, your authenticity for this. And we got the emperor here. And I'm seeing this as like, see how he's like sitting there very still and like looking to the side. Like I'm seeing that as being unmoved, unmoving. That like, don't let these worries or fears of like, oh, are they gonna like my stuff? Like nothing's happening right now. Should I change something? Don't move. Don't stay in your authenticity, you know, and keep being yourself, keeping, keeping you know this outskirts of society person whatever you want to call it like whatever you consider yourself right now or how you're different or that you need to change 
keep being yourself, your authentic self, because you're having control, like authority over yourself by staying strong and not letting these fears and worries take control and like, you know, change your life, you know, change, change what you're doing. Um, cause what I'm getting is like, obviously if you, um, start like being different, acting different, you're going to get burnt out because that's not who you are. It's going to be more work and then you're going to lose, you know, the drive, the passion, oh, those damn gnats, um, the drive, the passion to continue to put your energy into this thing, whether it's work, entrepreneurship, whatever, like whatever that's happening, whatever you're going after. I've been standing on, okay. I've been standing on the outside for all of my life, but I like the view. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the yuppies and the hipsters and the wannabe scenes, they ain't down home to me. I like $2 bill, bill, ugh, beers. I like $3 wells at some old honky tonk bar that I know by the smell. <laughs> some old drunk on a bar stool on a Merle Haggard tune. That's my kind of room. Raisin Hill with the hippies and the cowboys. Um. Yes. So the next one is we've got eight of wands in reverse. So that's telling me if things are slow, don't worry. Don't worry. Keep at it because right behind that is the nine of wands upright. So there, I'm getting that while, um, while like you're in this like pause state like that's where you need to do some healing because the nine of wands is like healing um that wounded warrior type thing there's there's some internal healing some traumas some wounding some childhood familial stuff you got to work through while you're in this slow down space of like oh well it's not like fully come in what what do i need to do there needs to be some healing done and you need to like and see how she's like hugging that pot that need that means like you're you need to still be putting love into this ordeal whatever you're going after putting you know your care your energy your love into it but not you know giving up your authenticity over it and we have the king of cactus in reverse so that's telling me is to watch that you're not and that's the king of pentacles um n make sure that you're not getting into this like materialistic superficial um energy like catch yourself that you're not doing this because oh well i want to look a certain way or i want you know whatever it is make sure you're doing it out of you know a purpose you're deep desires versus like oh well I want to look like I'm rich you know or however that ends up like check yourself that you're not going after that and that's probably why you're wanting to change you know who you are or like you have that worry like oh I need to um change who I am I need to change how I'm presenting stuff like yes change it like if you feel like intuitively drawn to switch something but I'm speaking more on like changing like who how you're acting as a person to like please others to appease to the masses like catch yourself that you're not doing that just because like yeah like uh, i'm not saying don't change anything because you know you're gonna get intuitive downloads like oh this would be a better more efficient way to do something this would be you know whatever um so make i want to be clear on that but make sure you're not doing this just to appease the masses or like look a certain way or like fit into some group because it said you know i've never had a lot of friends and i'm all right by that um but people keep on coming back and see how it says i oh yeah i've never been a part of any musical scene i ain't just talking nashville if you know what i mean they don't write about my 
about me in their magazines and I don't ask for no reviews on the songs that I sing. But people keep on coming back. So you're going to be found, you're going to be seen as yourself because you're being authentic. Don't go out there and being like, oh, what am I, what do you want me to change? Ugh. Like within reason, yeah. If it helps, like <laughs> say you're a client and it's like, hey, you know, it'd be nice if you didn't just like take paper checks. Like <laughs> that would be helpful. <laughs> like be open to like obvious constructive criticism, like changing little things like that to help things run smoothly but like not giving up like who you are and like what your soul purpose is in this. Um, and being authentic because we have the seven of swords in reverse, like that's the truth. That's like nothing hidden, everything exposed. Um, that's going to keep you pr protected from people like, um, because what I'm getting is if you try to go down that path of like, um, this inauthentic way of like changing and molding and trying to um, contort yourself into something everyone likes and you know you're exhausted and all of that that's going to put you at risk to be like fucked with you know like people are going to be spilling your money or trying to do this trying to bite your steeds you know like trying to do something to you um, just because that puts you at risk because you're in such a vulnerable state and you're exhausted and you're living in this, in the, it's lower vibration, so you're not as protected and like you're not as shielded. And by living authentically in, in your truth, like you're protected from like people like stealing from you, um, taking your work, that type of thing. Like it's gonna be harder for people to do that. Um, it's gonna be a lot easier if you're being inauthentic and you know, lying to yourself. And But if you keep being authentic, that's gonna keep you protected. And it'll be easier for people to, like, say if somebody does try to catch you, like, uh, take something from you, it'll be easier to catch them. Like, people will be like, hey, they're the only person that does that. So what are you doing? Why are you doing that? And I'm meaning, like, that could even be just somebody, like, <laughs> being fake to try to copy you, you know, like, like um, to compete with you for a promotion or something. Obviously, take it how it resonates, whatever you're working on. But, um... So like, because you're going to be in a higher vibration, you're living authentically, you're raising hell with the hippies and the cowboys, like you're still being yourself, you're, you're okay with being on the outside. I've been standing on the outside for all of my life, but I like the view, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, the yuppies and the hipsters and the wannabe scenes, they ain't down home to me. So like being okay with like, okay, I'm right where I'm at. I need to be, there's something here that I need to heal in this slow down state. What do I need to heal? What, how can I, it might just be like a need to be in a slow down state so you can get these like downloads of like um, creative ideas to juice up your idea or your job or whatever, uh, regain that energy and keep being yourself and living authentically in that. And with this authenticity, that this truth, this just being fully open, being okay with being exposed, being seen as 100% your authentic self, that's going to bring this wish fulfillment. And notice like how like this guy, I don't know, I have such a crush on this guy on this card. <laughs> but notice like, you know, he's like a pink haired cowboy. Like you don't see that, but he's okay with being himself. He's like, yeah, there's not many people like me and I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm cool with how I'm looking. I'm cool with my style right now. You know, <laughs> like honestly, um, who I'm thinking of is like Dennis Rodman. Like he, he's wild. He's a wild man and he's very famous. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, so not only did like his, like, was it basketball? I think. Yeah. It, that end but then he was like he continued to be relevant afterwards because he's just so wild like he may have been like but it's probably a bad example because I don't know his life fully but that's what I'm thinking of is like being your authentic self like being your chaotic self that's going to get you these wish fulfillments with this nine of cups here this nine of jugs being you know like yeah I know you've never seen a pink haired cowboy before but that's who I am and you know 
this is me. This is, it's because, you know, you've got a lot of, you know, brown haired cowboys out there. You need a pink haired one. Like, <laughs> I know it's, but I don't know how else to use like an example of that. It's like, whatever you see out there, like there needs to be this. There's one of me. There's a reason I'm here. There's a reason I'm drawn to do this. There's a reason why I'm like this. So I'm going to keep working at this. You know, there's a million of those things out there. I'm going to be me. I have such a crush on him. He is so cute. <laughs> and we got um, small steps make big accomplishments. So um, that's just going back to like, if you're in this like slow down state where like things aren't moving or you're like feeling anxious, like, oh, do I need to change something? Why is no one like looking at my stuff? What do I need to do? Slow it down. Yeah, you're meant to be in this state because there's some healing you have to do in regards to your fears and worries. And, you know, you got to be, this is number eight. So how perfect is that for abundance? Um, you got to work through um, these fears and stuff because, you know, with this abundance that's coming, you know, or you get like super busy, you won't have um, any like margin space to um, get caught up in these worries and in these concerns because you're going to be busy working on your job or you know working on this um your business or whatever so you got to work through this stuff and there's a reason why it's in a slow down state you got to keep pushing through even though you're in this worry i don't know if i should do this anymore blah 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 whatever there's there's a reason for that and keep taking those little steps keep moving towards this like say you're worried about money do what you can with what you have now. Keep taking those little steps. Those little steps are going to be all add up. And we it's perfect because this like was in the center of everything is that abundance card. And it's interesting because we have eight, nine, and it fell out as nine. And I shuffled the deck. So I use this deck all the time. So it's very shuffled. So um, this is... Just stay in that, just keep on those little steps because we have small steps make big accomplishments. That's going to lead to your abundance. Big abundance. See how there's a whale in there? It's a big ass abundance. So keep, um, keep at it. Keep taking those steps. Um, I'm also seeing like how there's like a, that guy, the little dude's in a funnel. And notice how it's like big at the top. It's going to feel like you got a lot of weight on you. You're like, oh, like, you know, um, like in the beginning, I'm seeing like there's like a lot of weight, a lot of burden. And then how it like tapers down to something small. Like once you get past that point, it's going to like get lighten. You just have to feel like you got to feel the responsibility of everything and use this slow down point, this, um, you know, there's not a lot of movement, not a lot of uh, traffic. There's not a lot of people coming at you or whatever for your business or whatever you're doing, whatever you're working on. Because you're meant to like prepare. It's like uh, resting before a big event. Like, you know, if you're going to do a marathon tomorrow, like you want to be nice and rested and sleep well. Because there's going to be a lot of burden, a lot of like, whoa, this is all new. Like, it's going to feel heavy. You're going to use a lot of energy so you need to like create that feel the passion for this and love for your craft whatever you're working on so um you can have that energy built up for this big heavy stuff that's gonna dump on you like and i don't mean to scare you but it's it's gonna be all so new that it's gonna feel like whoa but that's good because that means you have, you know, um, business on the way. You have responsibilities and money coming. You know, you have all this stuff coming. And you're going to be, like, it's going to be good to be hit with that because it's all new. And that's going, you know, learning stuff and, you know, trying new things, that's good for you. That puts you, pulls you out of your comfort zone. Shake, release, heal, move on. Um... This is just telling me, like, when you get hit with these, like, worries, like, oh, like, why is my business not working? Why is this not moving forward? You know, why did this company not call me back for this job? 
work through those scary emotions, shake it off and keep moving. Cause that you're meant to like uh, process this trauma and stuff, you know, these old woundings. Um, so you can be ready for when it's here. Breakthrough. Yes. And that's as soon as you work through all that stuff, you're going to get your breakthrough. So don't worry. It's just going to hit like out of nowhere. Just don't worry. You got to, I mean, you, yes, you can worry, follow those worries and be like, why am I concerned about this? What happened in my past that I need to, you know, reprogram myself to think in this way? Where am um, 444 on my clock here? Um, where do I have lack mentality and from where, you know, follow those concerns and worries and anxieties so you can, you know, doctor yourself. A <laughs> word, the last card face your fear yeah so face those worries and don't and stay like stand strong and take control of the situation of your life authority over yourself and um face your fears that is so perfect so yes you have a fear like what if this doesn't work out what if blah 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 whatever face that go ahead and be like why am i feeling this why is this happening i need to st still keep doing this i feel called to keep doing this why is this, why am I feeling this? What's happening? And get out of your head. So feel that stuff and then let it go. Let it pass by and release it. Thank you for showing yourself. <laughs> thank you for, thank you worry for showing me I've got some healing to do. Uh, can you show me where I need to heal? Let's do it. I'm going to feel it and I'm going to let it go and I'm going to go do something. Um, <laughs> This is my dickhead card. So, because <laughs> the... <laughs> We got the rooster. <laughs> so just get out of your head. Don't be a dickhead to yourself by worrying and stressing out and all this stuff. Like, just don't. You're only, like, hurting yourself. And, you, you know, worry means you suffer twice. Okay. All right. I have to go to work. I love you so much. I hope that you can face your fears and keep being your authentic weirdo self because we need you and that's going to get you the coin that's going to get you the abundance because we're moving into a world we have moved into a world i should say where and you know we've jumped into this timeline where the authenticity is rewarded it's it get you know you get further and further and further along with it because you have the endurance and energy to keep that up so you're going to, you know, you're in it for the long haul when you're being authentic. Yes, it may be a rougher start, be more rough start, but you got to keep going. You're meant to work, be in this slow state right now so you can work through all your worries and your stuff so you can have the endurance, strength, power um, to face anything that happens when you have all of this like clients, um, business, responsibilities, all of that. Like it's meant to happen this way and keep pushing and stay diligent and faithful that this is coming for you. Okay. Love you, babes. I hope you have a good day. Bye.